like it or not, no one can stay young forever. The good news for those seeking longevity and well-being is an innovative treatment called peptide therapy, which can restore youth and minimize the effects of aging. Peptide therapy has grown in popularity and is part of a revolutionary, cutting-edge science of rejuvenation and anti-aging medicine taking the wellness and longevity industry by storm. Peptide therapy is one of the most effective age management treatments available. What are peptides? Your body naturally produces peptides. Proteins are made of peptides, and peptides are made up of small chains of amino acids that improve cell signaling in the body. As you age, the number of peptides our bodies produce naturally tend to decrease, and you may start to notice you don't feel the way you used to. If you are looking for a way to look and feel young again you may benefit from peptide therapy. Peptides are more common than we realize. Insulin used by diabetics was the first peptide approved in the USA in 1921. Since then there are over 80 plus peptides approved for use for anti-aging, weight loss, cardiovascular disease, gastrointestinal disease, autoimmune disorders, and cancer. Hundreds of peptides are currently undergoing preclinical studies considering their huge therapeutic potential. What is Human Growth Hormone HGH. Human Growth Hormone HGH, is a hormone that's naturally produced in the pituitary gland. The pituitary, a pea-sized gland, located at the base of your brain below your hypothalamus, monitors and regulates bodily functions through the hormones that it produces. The primary purpose of HGH is to stimulate physical growth in children and teens and to help our bodies repair themselves through cell reproduction. It plays a vital role in the growth of every cell in the human body as well as cell regeneration. HGH peaks during puberty, then gradually declines after the age of 30. By 40, you start to experience the negative effects of decreased HGH, like weight gain, muscle loss, Poor sleep, decreased energy, low libido, aging skin, and hair loss. By the age of 60, HGH is usually less than half what it was at age 25. What are growth hormone peptides? Sermorelin, CJC1295, and ipamorlin stimulate the pituitary gland to produce more growth hormone naturally. As your pituitary gland starts to produce HGH again you begin to look and feel younger again. One of the new and improved generation of peptides is CJC1295 and ipamorlin used in combination. They increase lean muscle and bone mass, decrease body fat, enhance sleep, boost libido, increase exercise endurance, stimulate collagen production, and hair and nail growth, and firming and tightening of the skin. The use of traditional injectable synthetic HGH came with a number of side effects. Overuse and abuse of synthetic HGH carry long-term health consequences. Risks associated with long-term use of traditional synthetic HGH potentially caused the body to stop producing its own human growth hormone creating a dependency on the therapy. The advantages of peptide therapy such as sermorelin, CJC1296, and ipamorlin is that they are safe for most people, and side effects are rare. Another advantage is that peptides do not replace your body's own HGH production like synthetic HGH does. Instead, they stimulate the pituitary gland to release HGH naturally. Sermorelin, CJC1295, and ipamorlin peptides are taken at bedtime to maximize your body's natural growth cycle. You will typically see results happening within weeks, but it takes up to six months to see optimal results with continued therapy. As you approach midlife, women and men begin to experience changes in hormone levels. Please consult with your doctor to have your hormones checked. As a hormone imbalance can be an underlying cause of weight gain, muscle loss, low energy, low libido, hot flashes, and accelerated skin aging, and bone loss. Peptide therapy is not the same as bioidentical hormone replacement therapy, or testosterone therapy. While some individuals only need peptide therapy, 
combining peptide therapy in conjunction with bioidentical hormone replacement therapy or testosterone therapy you'll experience optimal wellness on a whole new level. What are copper peptides? Known as the Hollywood peptides. GHKCU copper peptide, first generation, stimulate collagen synthesis to help tighten loose skin, reversing the thinning of aged skin, improve skin firmness, elasticity to reduce wrinkles naturally. They also increase hair growth and thickness of hair. GHKCU peptides cannot be used at the same time as hydroxy acids, vitamin C, retin-A or zinc sunblocks. SRCP copper peptide, second generation, aka skin remodeling copper peptide, can be used with other serums, creams, and SPF. This peptide is not as fragile as the first generation GHKCU. Dr. Pickard holds the patent on GHKCU and SRCP copper peptides. He has tested knockoff brands and found them to be lacking so beware of imitations. What are repair and healing peptides? Known as the Wolverine peptide. BPC-157 also known as the Wolverine peptide because it accelerates the healing process of injuries to muscle, ligaments, tendons, and nerves. Aids in wound healing and reduces inflammation in the body. Results are achieved in as little as 24 to 48 hours to days with an injection. BPC-157 not only prevents stomach ulcers, but is used to improve digestion and treat conditions such as irritable bowel syndrome IBS. What is the libido-boosting peptide? PT-141, bremelanotide, this peptide is an effective treatment used to treat sexual dysfunction in women and men. PT-141 increases sexual arousal and satisfaction without the side effects of many pharmaceuticals. Boosts libido and improved sexual function. And can increase intensity and quality of orgasms. Type 2 diabetes peptide. Semaglutide, Ozempic, Rebelsis, Wegovy, was created specifically to improve the management of type 2 diabetes. Used together with diet and exercise to manage blood sugar. Typically a prescription requires a BMI of 30 plus to qualify. Regardless of what social media says, semaglutide is not approved as a weight loss drug. If you are not type 2 diabetic and have a normal BMI looking to lose weight, an increased lean muscle mass CJC1295 and dipamorlin and sermorelin are better options. The FDA has issued a black box warning letting doctors and patients know that semaglutide injections may increase the risk of thyroid cancer and should not be used by individuals who have a family history of thyroid cancer. The weight loss benefits aren't worth the risk unless you have type 2 diabetes and a BMI of 30 plus and your doctor believes the pros outweigh the risks. Please leave the supplies to those living with type 2 diabetes. These are just a few of the most popular peptides to help optimize your health and vitality. How are peptides administered? Depending on the peptide therapy you choose there are a few options available. The most common way to administer peptides is through subcutaneous injections. Oral trochee, available for people who do not like injections, dissolves under tongue or side of cheek. Nasal sprays. When can I expect to see results? HGH peptides, sermorelin, CJC1295 and ipamorlin have a loading period and take anywhere from 3 to 6 months to see the full benefits. However most individuals start to see results after the first month. Copper peptides, GHKCU and SRCP peptides, give copper peptides 1 to 3 skin cycles to see improvements. Copper peptides work best when used along with an exfoliation method. Follow instructions carefully to see optimal results. BPC-157 injections, Wolverine peptide, in as little as 24 to 48 hours, a few days, one week to a few weeks. PT-141, libido peptide, usually takes two to four hours to take effect. Semaglutide, Ozempic, Rebelsis, Wegovy, blood sugar levels decline within the first week. Who shouldn't use peptide therapy? Peptide therapy is considered safe with little to no side effects under the care and supervision of a highly trained and experienced healthcare professional who specializes in peptide therapy. 
Consult with your doctor before considering peptide therapy to see if peptide injections or oral dosage may interfere with any prescription drugs you are taking. Peptides should not be used while pregnant or breastfeeding, or by individuals with a history of active malignancy. Never buy peptides off black market sites or unauthorized websites to save money. Poor and unsanitary manufacturing processes pose a risk for infection. Fake or counterfeit peptides have questionable purity and can be harmful to your health. You need to be under the care of a doctor, and most peptides require a prescription. As always, make sure to hit that like button, and subscribe if you enjoyed learning about one of the most effective age management treatments available. To be alerted of all the amazing new videos we release, hit that bell icon. Until next time.